the fighting in Ukraine has frequently drawn comparisons with the Cold War. And while plenty of Eastern Cold War vehicles have been seen in use, one of the interesting Western Cold War warriors that's seen action is the Saxon armoured personnel carrier. In this video we'll take a look at the history of the Saxon and how it came to be in Ukraine. The AT-105 Saxon was developed by the UK in the late 1970s to provide some protective mobility for British forces deploying from Britain and moving up to the front line after an anticipated communist offensive. Based on the Bedford TM series of trucks, the four-wheeled Saxon was slated to protect against small arms fire and shrapnel. With a welded steel body and blast deflecting chassis plate, the Saxon is powered by a six-cylinder diesel engine. Primarily designed as a battle taxi, it can carry up to eight men and a driver. They were armed with a 7.62 L7 general purpose machine gun. Entering service with the British Army in the mid-1980s, the Saxon saw service in the Balkans, Iraq and Northern Ireland. It was finally removed from service in 2005. The British Army appears to have begun disposing of them in the late 2000s, with many gifted to other countries and some to private dealers. In 2013, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defence purchased 75 second-hand Saxons from a private dealer. These were delivered in two shipments in 2015. Sources suggest the vehicles were bought for around £50,000 each, or a total procurement cost of US$3.8 million. The first 20 arrived in February and were handed over to the Ukrainian National Guard for testing. Oleksandr Terchinov, then Secretary of the National Security and Defence Council, said the vehicles would be upgraded by Yuko Baromprom and fitted with machine guns. The second batch of 55 vehicles were delivered in June 2015. With the news of the transfer, General Richard Dannett, the former Chief of General Staff, told the Telegraph newspaper that My concern is the inadequate nature of these vehicles, which I ordered out of British Army frontline service when I was Commander-in-Chief Land Command 2005-2006. They were withdrawn from Iraq and never deployed to southern Afghanistan. To suggest the UK is making a significant gesture of support by supplying vehicles which we took out of service 10 years ago because we deemed them unsafe seems bizarre at best and downright dangerous at worst. They are quite useless semi-armoured lorries that should be nowhere near anyone's front line. At the time, the UK's Ministry of Defence responded saying that they offer protective mobility to personnel but they are not close combat vehicles. While arguably obsolete, the Ukrainians themselves reportedly felt that they were fairly decent vehicles, with the armour providing the expected level of protection. Ukrainian National Guard testing in February 2015 showed that the armour could withstand B-32 7.62 by 54 armour-piercing incendiary rounds. There have, however, been some accidents involving Saxons, and there was a well-reported incident involving a pair, with one overturning and another hitting the central barrier of a motorway in March 2015. It's clear that the Ukrainians thought at the time that they were cost-effective, capable vehicles, which they wisely didn't push into close combat roles. Contemporary reports suggest that a number of the vehicles, perhaps 10 or 20, received additional armour for the troop compartment and mounts for DSHK heavy machine guns and a pair of additional PK medium machine gun positions. The majority, however, appear to have been re-rolled as command or medevac vehicles, which were reportedly initially assigned to the 25th Airborne Brigade the 79th, 81st and 95th Air Mobile Brigades, and the 36th Naval Infantry Brigade. While it's unclear if these vehicles had been reassigned to other units, we do know that they saw combat in Donbass for the first time in June 2015. In September 2015, a Ukraine Today report on the Saxons interviewed a member of the 81st Air Mobile Brigade, who said, It's a really beautiful vehicle and the armour is good. For evacuating personnel, the APC is great. When asked if the vehicles were difficult to work with, he replied, yes, but that's normal. Other pre-February 2022 adaptions include at least one vehicle outfitted with slat armour in an effort to protect against RPGs. With the Russian invasion in February, the Saxons have been seen in a number of photographs, mostly in flat green paint, though at least one has been seen with the Ukrainian digital camouflage pattern. The majority of the sighted vehicles have been ambulances. It's also worth noting that none of the gun-armed Saxons have been seen. And in all of the photographs, the vehicles have either been captured or knocked out. According to open source intelligence analysts Oryx, a total of five Ukrainian Saxons have been visually confirmed lost. 
there haven't been any recent sightings of the Saxons, either in service or captured or knocked out. The UK and other supporting nations have now transferred or promised more modern and capable vehicles than the Saxon. But for a time at least, it seems that the Cold War warrior served its purpose. Thanks for watching guys, as always I hope you found that interesting. Thanks to Volodymyr for sharing some pre-war photographs of the Saxon in Ukrainian service. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Please do share the videos with friends, and if you'd like to, you can support us via Patreon. We have lots of perks to say thank you for your support. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.